So we are in Maddox Arts. This is a new gallery in London, only opened in October last year. We try to actually um, get the new artists, which normally are found in the east of London, Brick Lane area, Whitechapel crowd. Um, we try to give them an opportunity to show in the West End Mayfair gallery, which normally they, they don't get exposed to. And for that, we have already held two very good exhibitions here. The last one before this one was uh, Artists Anonymous. Those guys actually took over the gallery and made their own installation. Everything was dark and all the uh, windows, the entrance, and the moment you came in, you were in total darkness. And the only light came from the light boxes because that's how they work. And this show we are presenting is called Lolita, which has been uh, curated by James Putnam, a very well-known um, curator who used to be in the British Museum. Even though, I mean, Lolita itself is kind of a loaded name and we were really more interested in the, the, the themes in it, like sort of um, lost innocence and sort of found sexuality. And also, I mean, it's kind of perhaps daring to bring up a, a subject which is all too often kind of considered a taboo nowadays. And many of the artists in this show, are, they're female, and uh, we're also trying to dispel this kind of you know, male fantasy uh, idea that surrounds it. Um. Many of the works, they would look like were commissioned especially for the show, but the artists already had the works, which we were very surprised. Well, yeah, um, perhaps we'll start with Mark Karasics. Um, he did these works especially for, for this show. Uh, he's a Canadian artist, he lives in, in England just outside uh, Bath and he works in this, he's got this incredibly detailed and wonderful style of working in uh, wax, kind of encaustic wax, uh, which is layered on. He sort of, he'll take one uh, pigment, mix it in with the wax and then put one layer on and then mix another layer on in a different colour. And he'll also do some freehand kind of painting as well, whatever it takes to get the, the right effect. But he's really interested in the kind of the, the ageing process and the, the, the process of time, really. So this is where you, you get these kind of these flashes of earlier layers of colour that are coming through here and kind of here again. It's incredibly sad. He said that when he started painting it, she was totally naked and, and this was completely exposed but it was almost a bit too obvious in a sense. So, by Feng Kuang Yu, a, a Chinese artist, uh, there's a series called The Terror of Sex. It's actually uh, one image from a series of ten works but uh, they all take this kind of this split um, mirror image format. You see she's got it's one pose here and then it, it, it's reflected and yet the image has changed here. Fafi's excellent. Um, she's a French artist. She's kind of she's well known for her graffiti works in uh, in France, and uh, this was kind of perfect in a way. I mean, this really appeals to to young girls. She's hugely popular in in Japan, as you might imagine, and uh, and then yeah, she's got her her own line of makeup now with with Mac. I mean, it's got. I suppose it's kind of reminds me of. It's like a cross between sort of Murakami and. Banksy, but very French and very girly. An important uh, theme in the show is also is uh, lolicon, which is the, the Japanese term for lolita. And in Japan, uh, lolita holds I don't know, particular resonance. It's a very strong theme. I mean, there's a whole subculture devoted to it, and and people dressing up as like young schoolgirls and things. And uh, they've. Perhaps uh, in Japan people are given a little bit more freedom to um, indulge their fantasies and, uh, you know, through manga and all this kind of stuff. And Trevor Brown, even though, uh, he's actually a, an English artist, but he, he moved to Japan about 10 years ago or so. And he's, uh, he's got a real following. He's published quite a few books and, and done some album covers and things like that. He's got a strong kind of uh, design history. A, uh, a German photographer, but he lives in London, he's called Jens Lucking. I remember just looking at it for, for ages, kind of just totally kind of perplexed by it. Because it is extraordinary. Um, I mean, it, it, it's an extreme image of, uh, of youth and an age, really. I think that we, we're trying to show that arts 
uh, it, contemporary art is, is a global thing. It's not Indeed, just yeah. localized. We don't really emphasize where artists come from at all. Um, not Chinese, not Indian, not yeah, Venezuelan. That's right. But we focus on the art first. And then are, the artists can come from wherever yeah. he comes. Okay, I'm Mario Palencia, I'm the gallery owner, and this is Ed Cutler, he's the gallery director, and we both um, are running uh, Maddox Arts in Mayfair. Mm -hmm. 